Welcome back all. So last question, we looked at the scenario where we had a wire. Now we'll look at the scenario where we have a slab. So the statement reads, a thick slab extending from z equal negative a to z equal positive a and infinite in the x and y directions carries a uniform volume current j equal j x hat. Find the magnetic field as a function of z both inside and outside the slab. All right, so let's see what our scenario is. We see we have a slab going from negative A to A in the Z direction. J is in the X direction, positive, mind you. Um, and then we have Y carrying out the infinite slab in both directions in the X, Y plane. So what we first need to do is find out what we need to know in order to solve this, which is the same as last question, uh, Ampere's law and the current. All right, moving forward. So first, let's set up our scenarios. We need to first determine the direction of the field and then apply an Ampherian loop. So for z greater than zero, the right-hand rule gives us the field direction of negative y hat, which we can find by taking the cross product of the current j with the direction in which we're pointing, in this case, positive z. Similarly, we can do that for z uh, less than zero, where we get field that points in a positive y hat direction. So plus z cross negative z. Um, note that z equals at z equals zero, the field equals zero, since everything cancels conveniently. Um, and we know that we have plane symmetry, so we can draw an inferior loop in the slab. And that's what we see here. We have a cross section where uh, the, in the x, y, x, y, z, y plane, and we see that we have an inferior loop that goes up a height of z, and across a length L. Um, and then we could, of course, flip that for underneath the Y where Z is less than zero. So for um, our general case, the inferior loop yields um, BL equal mu naught LZJ. It's now up for us to determine how the current enclosed is uh, modified for where we're at. So in between the slab, we're just a function of Z. Right, and then the field switches um, at negative z, or we get positive, which is what we just discussed with the right-hand rule. So uh, in between, we get a B field of uh, negative mu naught jz in the y hat direction. Again, that'll alternate based on z. Now, if z is outside of the slab, then the I enclosed is mu naught i a j because we don't have z extending out to infinity we don't have slab up there so we're only at the boundary a similarly we can apply that for underneath uh where we have zero to negative a and we get an analogous result just with a instead of z um pretty quick pretty easy just make sure to understand how your directions work and uh then you're good to go